Hi folks, Astronomy Live. Recently, this video came to my attention claiming that the moon rose too far south back on September 13th. Now, this is not the first, and I'm sure it won't be the last, video of this type claiming that the moon or the sun are out of place. But there is a resource I have at my disposal that I've never really talked about on this channel, and I want to show you guys what it is today, because anyone can use it to check whether or not these claims hold any water. Introducing the YouTube channel iTelescope Webcams. Now, full disclosure, I am a scientific advisor for itelescope.net, which is where these webcam images are hosted. But I created a program to archive a daily time-lapse video of each of the iTelescope webcams. Some of them are pointed at the various telescopes housed at the various iTelescope observatories. Others are all sky cameras. There are webcams at each of the iTelescope facilities, which are located in the US, Australia, and Spain and they are archived at 5 p.m. Eastern daily on this channel. So what this means is that if someone is making a claim that the moon or the sun was out of place on a particular day, you can review the archived all-sky camera for that day from any of the facilities and see if that claim is true or false. I will now demonstrate how to test the claim that the moon was out of place when it rose on September 13th by reviewing the footage from the Sierra Remote Observatory All-Sky Camera uploaded on September 14th. Keep in mind, because these images are uploaded 5 p.m. on the day that you see in the title, if you want to review the previous evening's images, you need to look at the footage whose title corresponds to the following day for observatories here in the U.S. So here's a frame from that SRO All-Sky Camera archive. And you can see from the bottom right that the footage is also available in 4K. That's one of the reasons I chose this particular camera, because the images it records are higher resolution than some of the other cameras. Now, I apologize for the blurry, zoomed-in crop of that frame, but I don't actually have a 4K monitor, so the screenshot I took ended up being 1080p. But if you zoom in at the bottom, you can see the date and timestamp, and that is September 13th, 2019, at 10.45 and 38 seconds in the evening. Now keep in mind that the timestamps shown on these web cameras correspond to the local time at the web camera, not universal time. Converting this to universal time, we get a time of 5.45 UT on September 14th. So how do we determine where the moon should have been at that time? Well, we can calculate it ourselves, which is what I did in a spreadsheet that I published a few years ago on this channel. I'll include a link to that video as well as to the spreadsheet itself in the video description. You simply plug in the location and the time, and it gives you both the equatorial and the altitude azimuth coordinates of the moon based on tables from a book that has been published now for decades. We can also use planetarium software like Starry Night Pro to see where the moon should have been. As you can see, this view of Starry Night Pro taken from SRO at that time shows the entire sky down to the horizon. Now keep in mind that the all-sky camera is a little bit of a misnomer. It doesn't really record the entire sky, just most of it. So here's what happens when I overlay the image from Starry Night back on top of the all-sky camera. The stars pretty much overlap. There's some optical distortion in the webcam, but you can see that the moon's position overlaps with the large glare in the view, indicating that that is indeed where the moon should have been in the images. But we don't have to rely purely on a planetarium program to tell us where the moon should have been. If you don't trust the software, you can calculate where the moon should have been for yourself, as I showed with the spreadsheet. And then by taking a measurement from the position of the zenith to the position of the moon, you can calculate what the actual azimuth of the moon was in the images. That's given by the angle shown and circled in red at the bottom of this image, 43.08 degrees from due south. What is 180 minus 43.08? 136.92. That answer is less than one-tenth of one degree from the azimuth predicted by my spreadsheet, indicating that the moon was exactly where it should have been. It was not 20 degrees too far south. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to iTelescope webcams to be able to access daily archives of webcams from all around the world looking at telescopes and the stars above.
clear skies, folks.